Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing and helping us create a hungry hippo. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. All right, today we're taking a look at jeans that sold on eBay. We're looking at the month of March and I've pulled out some highlights I want to talk about with you. Everyone knows I sell a lot of Old Navy, Gap, and American Eagle. That's pretty much my trifecta of brands for bread and butter. We sell a lot of jeans. We lift a lot of jeans. We do a lot of volume in jeans. And in our weekly What Sold videos and in a lot of our other recaps every month, you see the same brands over and over. That's because they're tried and true and they're consistent sellers. I tried to pull out some different things to talk about with you this month. If you're more interested in all the jeans that sell, what they actually sold for, you can catch our weekly what sold videos that I do. I also talked a little bit more about clearancing items out and what jeans are selling on clearance for us in my new series called Final Fridays that I did last week. I'll have that pop up at the end for you. If you haven't watched it, you can catch it. But today I'm just going to kind of go through these and talk about the brands and why they're a good idea to source. Now, keep in mind, we do have a volume based business and we deal a lot in bread and butter and we have a very low cost of goods. If that is the business model you're interested in, a lot of these brands may be right for you. Wax Jean has these But I Love You's and YMI has the Wanna Bet a Butt. These are both really great to source. I would never buy anything by Wax Gene or YMI that isn't this specifically though. And also the royalty brand has a Wanna Bet a Butt as well. The Wanna Bet a Butts and the But I Love Yous. Anything else in these brands I leave behind. I don't want. <laughs> I just go after those specifically. The, those lines do really well. They're shaping. They're slimming. They sell really fast. They are bread and butter priced, but the return on your investment is very quick. Adriana Goldschmidt is still a viable brand. Still sells for about $35 to $40, depending on the style. If it's men's, it can go for more. Denim jackets. I cannot express to you guys how much I love denim jackets as much as I love denim shorts or booty shorts. You can take an absolute poop brand that you couldn't pay somebody to take off your hands and sell that brand in denim jackets or jean shorts for a lot of money. They're just their own world. This is Classique Sintier. This is actually a pretty decent brand. But this jacket sold for $50, all in with shipping and everything. We've gotten positive feedback. The buyer's really happy. This is just something you should look out for. It is a good brand. But denim jackets in general, especially the longer trench coat-like styles. Chico's, I do tend to avoid anymore unless it's the so slimming or the so lifting. Those can do pretty well. They're just like the ones I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, and not your daughter's jeans are good too. The democracy jeans with the absolution. Anything that promises to be slimming or lifting is very popular with women. Faith Jeans is a new to me brand. I just discovered out of a thread up box. And then I found a ton at the Salvation Army and picked them all up. So this is something I look for now. It's a $20 pair of jeans all in with shipping. But if you can find it for a dollar or two, it's a good return on your investment. Cut from the cloth, a lot of folks don't like anymore. It did used to be like a $40 pair of jeans, not anymore. <clears throat> don't race to the bottom. It ruins the market for everybody. But they're still decent. They're still bread and butter. And I sell them all the time. So Levi's is its own world. There's Levi's that are made for Walmart and Target. That can sell for $18 to $20. There's Levi's 500 line, 700 line that can sell for $50. And some that are for $30. There's vintage Levi's that sell for $100. There are so many hundreds and thousands of Levi's out there. You really have to do your research or comp it before you source it to see if you want to take it home. I do have a comprehensive Levi's 
spreadsheet and list inside of my jeans guide. If you're interested, that's available in the description box below. My general rule, my general rule with Levi's, I buy them. If the price is right, I buy them. I'll learn as I go. I keep my own jeans guide and my pricing guide on my phone with me when I'm outsourcing. I like Levi's. Even the lower end ones like these 515s can do pretty well. Uh, here we have some Levi's boyfriends. The Levi's 512. Levi's 519. These are men's. Men's are always going to sell for more. We have the 505s and 512s. There are so many Levi's out there. I say that they all sell really well, but depending on your price point or if you want to just aim for higher priced items, you'll want to do your research and comp them. Here is a pair of American Eagles. I said I wasn't going to pull any out because you know I sell them, but I did pull these out and I know why, because they're the next level. Whenever your American Eagles have next level stretch or anything special about them, you can raise the price by a couple of bucks because they're special. Most American Eagles, I start around 20. And that's all in, whether that's 10 plus 10 shipping or say 11, sorry, 13 plus 7 shipping. Um, but you can always get a little bit more money for these. Joe's jeans are still a really good brand to look for. They'll sell for about 35 to 40, a little bit more if they're men's. Silver jeans are still good. I still start them around $40. I just noticed that they take a lot longer to sell, and the sell-through rate on them has gone down. I don't know if it's because they're oversaturated or they're not as popular or a combination of the two. When I first started reselling, I used to get silver jeans all the time for like 7 bucks at the thrift and flip them for 50 55 to 60 if they were men's and they would sell within a couple of months or less of being listed now i have a lot of silver jeans that are older that i'm doing the clearance on you can see these went for 50 percent off they're still selling um it could be that they just are not as popular it could be the styles i have the sizes i have it could be the race to the bottom it could be the economy but I still will pick up silver jeans when I find them because I still think they're a good brand. I've shown these in my videos before. I love pajama jeans. I don't find them as much as I used to. I used to find these all the time. Now it's few and far between. They're basically like sweatpants. That's what they feel like. And you can see like the inside of them. They're basically sweatpants. And they look like jeans. They look like they have pockets and everything. They're pull-on. They don't have any buttons or zippers. I love pajama jeans. They usually sell for around 20 even more sometimes. These were 50% off. But I still pick these up whenever I find them. And here's an example of a poop brand that sold shorts in. So celebrity pink jeans. I don't think you could pay somebody to take those out of your store anymore. They're very, they're poop. Celebrity Pink is definitely poop. But this pair of booty shorts took a couple of weeks to sell from listing and sold for almost $20. So keep that in mind when you're outsourcing, when you're looking at stuff. The booty shorts, the denim jackets, they're their whole own world. They can be a bad brand and they will still sell. And keep an eye out for all the brands I talked about here. Again, Levi's, it's a learning curve. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about reselling jeans, or reselling in general, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to join my Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Until next time, guys, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.